Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Daniel Kaluuya's adult theme, Barney. And also maybe a little bit of Paramount, uh, Paramount Plus, talking about no original animated movies. Why not? I'll throw that in there too. I'm sorry, but look, man, I might be an old crusty man, but I'm a man who grew up with Barney. I love Barney. Barney was awesome. He was purple. He was big. He was a dinosaur. He had this goofy sounding voice. He had these huge teeth and he used to sing and he had a group of friends. And, you know, he did the whole I love you. You love me. Something, 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 something. And so, like, you know, I dig that show growing up, man. Even when I was eight years old, hey, I still watched it. And I remember one time, Barney's all like, yo, man, use the power of your imagination. You can make anything happen. And I remember one time I was eating this burger. My God, it was dry. There was no good seasoning on it. There was no cheese. There was no nothing. It was just bread, a burger, and that was it. And it was dry and it had no seasoning. And I imagine as hard as I could, it was a chocolate cake. <laughs> and it got me through that burger. <laughs> <laughs> but as I became a teenager, I stopped watching Barney. I stopped watching around the time, um, what the heck was those two little things called? His little friends that were also dinosaurs. The green dinosaur and the yellow dinosaur. Once they went from giant size to little, I pretty much stopped watching around that time. Then they brought in some orange dinosaur. I don't know the orange dinosaur's name because I never watched it. And, you know... I always wonder what happened to all the kids that used to be on that show. Did they ever make it big? Did they not? Well, two of them did. Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato. And what is this video about? Daniel Kaluuya said that he's going to make an adult theme Barney movie. Why? <laughs> I don't want a mature adult theme raunchy humor type Barney movie. It's freaking Barney, man. It's PBS. I mean, let Barney just be for what Barney is supposed to be. For little kids and teaching little kids good stuff. Barney had had a long history from um, his original design to tours to something I think that happened with the voice actor. Something bad, I think. I can't remember. But anyways, you know, I love Barney and, you know, I still mad to this day. I got no Barney merch, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I remember I always wanted that little tiny stuffed animal that I used to see on like the tour, man. I was so jealous. I never had one. So I personally do not want this to be some type of like adult theme, mature type thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how edgy it will be. I don't know if it will give a a, a, um, a good like focus message. Now it can give a good focus message. I don't care about that. That's what Barney was all about. But when I think of when they say adult theme, I'm thinking of raunchy crap. And, you know, not everything has to be raunchy and everything, man. Not everything has to be mature. Sometimes some things just got to be for kids, you know. And, you know, I can always hear people right now blaming Barbie for this. Um, no, Barbie did not start this trend in everything. It recently started it now, but this has been going on for many, 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 many years. ABC had a Muffet show and it was adult thing. Um, there was just recently, what was it? Like Winnie the Pooh, like a horror movie and everything. That what was that Christmas horror movie as well. And you know, let's not forget like Scooby-Doo with this Indu windows and everything from like over 20 years ago. So this has been going on for a good while. And you know, it's not needed, man. Like it's really, really not. And uh, just let like just let's just have a kid's movie where Barney's doing his imaginary thing in the imaginary world and running around and, and and you know some shenanigans going on like just let it be about that you know what I'm saying now the second thing I think is really weird and bizarre is Paramount Plus Hollywood is pissing me off. They're not making nothing original. And when they do make something original, it's complete bull crap that nobody wants to watch. And they need to make something original that's something good. But one problem is they're taking old IPs and constantly remaking and rebooting. And this has proven not to work in the past 10 years. People are getting really tired of that. 
And Paramount Plus CEO, who thinks he knows stinking everything, talking about like he's not going to make an original animated movie and hope it do good. Now, that just sounds like he don't want to pay his like staff and everything. So he's going to take old IPs and he's going to just keep constantly rebooting and remaking this and that. It did not work for Fairly Odd Parents, in case you didn't know. There was a revival of it on Paramount Plus, and it starred, um, what's their faces? Cosmo and Wanda as 2D cartoon versions, but they had live action like kids. Timmy was there as an adult for some bizarre reason, and they had two new little kids. This show did not even last past a season, and it was completely scrapped and removed from Paramount Plus streaming app. Therefore, it does not always work. Now, the Rugrats thing is working right now. Um, I think there's a SpongeBob thing that's out. I think that's working. And of course, iCarly is working and stuff. I watched the uh, iCarly revival. It's all right. It's just the literal old. It's literally the old show, but with an adult like raunchy theme to it. They cuss, they drink, they talk about like sex and everything. And it's kind of like you know, okay, it's the same show just for like adults and everything. And you know, I tuned out of the old show back in the day. And it was nice and fun, and it was exciting and everything. But after a while, you get kind of tired of the same thing. How much vanilla? can you eat you know what i'm saying sometimes you need to throw a little strawberry or a little bit of chocolate up in there and so like um constantly re-going back to these old ips and redoing them it's not always working like the new ninja turtles are coming out i have no interest in wanting to see that and i am a huge ninja turtle fan that looks like it's for kids or whatever and i'm not a kid no more it's weird about ninja turtles they went from the most adult brutal themed thing in the comics to getting light humor in the first animated series to going back to darkness in the live action movie only to get lightened up again and ever since there's been like a blend of one moment is light one minute is dark and it's just weird how it's like evolved and stuff and how kitty it's become now you know like rise of the ninja turtles thing i didn't like that um next mutation was not very good um this new animation style looks cool and everything but i'm not digging donatello's voice i'm sorry donatello is my favorite and i'm just not digging his voice and i'm also not digging how they're making him look like a super nerd like um steve urkel i get it He's the brains of the operation. He is the nerd. You don't gotta make him look super nerdy. And that is something they have been doing a lot in animation and comics. He either has like a really tall, skinny head. He has like a weird look to him or goggles or like glasses now. And it's just like, you know, I like it when they all look the same and they have different personalities and stuff. I don't like it when they constantly try to make them look different. But that's just my two cents and everything on this matter. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.